There's anger today over remarks directed at First Lady Jill Biden. It happened when Fox and Friends like weekend co-host Rachel Campos Duffy was speaking about the president's handling of the Afghanistan crisis. When you look at what's hurting America, um, when you look at this lack of leadership, and you and you wonder who are the people responsible for putting someone this incompetent and frankly this, you know, mentally frail in this position, I can't help but look at Jill Biden. No one knew better his state of mind than Jill, Dr. Jill Biden. And if you ask me, the most patriotic thing Jill Biden could have done was tell her husband to, to love her husband and not let him run in, these, in, in this mental state that he's in. I think she failed the country as well. Now, Jill Biden's spokesman is demanding an apology, giving rise to headlines on news sites like the Huffington Post, The Hill, and Deadline. This is disgusting, tweeted Jill's press secretary, Michael LaRosa. Rachel Campos Duffy and Fox News know better. They can do better, and their viewers deserve better. I hope they'll apologize to the First Lady and leave this kind of talk in the trash where it belongs. The controversy comes as the clock ticks down toward the August 31st deadline for getting Americans and our allies out of Afghanistan. The White House says that deadline remains the target for President Biden so far. He asked the Pentagon and the State Department for contingency plans to adjust the timeline should that become necessary. These evacuees were clearly overjoyed to be on a flight out of Kabul. The Taliban has said that if any evacuations happen after the August 31st deadline, there will, quote, be consequences.